up, everybody? What is up? What is up? How are you doing? This is B Roots with another tutorial on how to buy cryptocurrency, where I make it as easy as one, two, three as a kindergarten child teaching them their ABCs. Thank you guys for coming and checking out my newest video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for t hitting that like button before you even watch this video because you know that you are going to get the best quality help here on YouTube at the B Roots channel. Today, it's going to be a little elongated video because this is something a little different, something you guys haven't heard about. It's something that's not even really being talked about and after doing some research and looking into this coin i think it's got some big potential so i decided to invest in it um now as usual i'm not your financial advisor i'm not here to tell you what to invest in and what not to invest in but i'm going to give you some information and you can choose whether or not you think it's good for you whether you think it's going to be beneficial so first, let's go on CoinMarketCap.com. When you look at the top 100 coins being talked about right now, you can see that the coin that I'm talking about, Simple Token, is not even in the top 100. It's not in the top 50. I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down. Some of these I've never even heard of aren't even in the top 100. It's a token. Where is it at in the top 100? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I do not see simple token on here at all. This is a sleeper, ladies and gentlemen. I feel it's a sleeper. So when I type in simple token right there, there it is, it's trading in at 41 cents. But what makes this a sleeper? Well, look at it. The market cap is only 78 million. Circulating supply is 187 million. And the total supply is 800 million. So then you're like, well, that's actually low and you're getting it at 41 seconds. What do you have to compare it to? Well, when I look at the market cap for all tokens, number one right now is EOS. Look at the circulating supply, 577 million. Basically, if you're new to cryptocurrency, what that means is the amount of coins that are out there right now is 577 million. When you click on EOS, the total supply possible, 900 million. So EOS trading in at $9.48 with coins, with 577 million coins out there and has a total supply of 900 million coins. So when you look at that and you see that's that $9.48 and then you go in a simple token, I've got 187 circulating supply and a total supply of 800 million. That means, ladies and gentlemen, there is a room for a lot of growth. If this does half of what EOS is doing, you're going to make some good money. So what is Simple Token? When you look at the website, it actually makes a lot of good sense. So spend some time and watch this intro video and let me know what you think. If you're looking to grow your app without relying on the big guys, blockchain just might be the answer. It's a new technology that empowers developers to make fairer, more democratized digital services. Blockchain-powered services are more open and transparent, allowing for frictionless transactions, meaningful economic incentives, and more monetization. But today, blockchain is a complex, futuristic idea, far out of reach from mainstream consumer adoption. It's the flying car, the fusion power plant, the USB cable you can plug in on the first try. It works in theory, but it's complicated, expensive, and doesn't yet scale. As it stands, just one consumer app would completely overwhelm the public blockchain networks. That's why we're building Simple Token. It's the bridge between blockchain and mainstream consumer apps. 
Simple Token enables any app to launch their own branded tokens on scalable side blockchains with user-friendly Simple Token software. This robust suite of tools lets you manage your token economy without the risks, costs, and efforts of going it alone. So you can focus on your users and your core business instead of blockchain infrastructure. Whether you want to add blockchain to parts of an existing app or you're building a decentralized app from the ground up, Simple Token is your ticket to a more powerful business. Wow. <laughs> I mean, just think about yourself while you're watching this video. The reason why you are watching me and listening to me and trying to figure out, hey, how do I get into this? What do you think that is for a small business? When all these big businesses are getting into blockchain and these small businesses need to compete, Simple Token is your answer, guys. I mean, it's clearly what it is. So it sounds like a really, 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 really good idea. So I'm on this, especially at 41 cents. I'm on this big time. Um, I bought uh, about 900 coins worth. Um, so I put some money into it. Not a lot, but I mean, like I said, if it gets to anywhere where EOS is trading at, this is going to be good. So the next thing is, well, B Roots, how do I buy Simple Token? Well, let's get started. What you want to do, if you're new to cryptocurrency in general, um, I always tell everybody the link is in below. You want to set, you see how I got my links up here? I've got to set an order. It makes it so much easier to do this process. If you sign up for the links below, Get all credited, get all verified, um, have your money in Coinbase, uh, click on the link below, sign up for Coinbase, get verified, sign up for the GDAX, get verified, sign up for Binance, get verified, and get all those, all the links are down below to get you started and get going. It makes this process so much easier where you're not frustrated if you sign up below, get your links, and get going. That makes everything so much easier for you. So, once you got your money in in Coinbase and you've went into your account and deposited money into the account, you've got some money and let me sign back in real quick. It's just kick me out. You got some money in it and you say, "Hey, let's um let's send some money over to uh GDAX. So first, let me check real class. I like to do this. Um, five USD to BTC. I like to do this just to show me how much Bitcoin is five bucks. Since I've already put money into it, really no need to put more money. So I'm just going to do $5 just to show you um, what needs to be done. So once you got your money in Coinbase, we are now going to go to GDAX. The reason why we go to GDAX, if you've read all my other videos, you know how this works. If you're new, Coinbase will charge you about a $15 to $30 fee in order to do business with them. I'm teaching you a way to avoid that fee. So how do I do that? If I got $5 and I wanted to send money to anyone in Bitcoin right now, I'd they wouldn't do it because I don't, I don't have enough money. However, I can avoid those fees by going here in GDAX. So click the link below, sign up for GDAX, get set up for there. So I'm going to sign in here. And it's connected to my Coinbase account. So it automatically knows that, hey, B Roots, you're connected to Coinbase right now. You're already signed in with Coinbase. So we know all your information. We don't need to go into all that. So. I'm going to hit deposit. I'm going to deposit money from my GDAX. I'm going to deposit from my Coinbase account. The amount of Bitcoin I have in my Coinbase account is 0.001491. I want to put $5 worth, which is 0.000375. I wonder if it'll help me. Let me do that. Well, it did. So there it goes. It says, there you go. You have $5 into your GDAX account. So, now you've got your money in your GDAX account. What do I do next? 
Well, you go to your Binance, sign up in the link below and go to Binance. Uh, this is the easiest number one cryptocurrency exchange there is. This thing is awesome. There's all kinds of altcoins that you can download and uh, excuse me, invest in, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, anything you can think of. It's likely in there. So you've got the five dollars in GDAX. You avoided the fees. Thank you, B Roots. You are the man. You're welcome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Binance. Once I sign up in my Binance and everything's get to going, I'm looking, everything looks like it's crazy. And I'm going to go to funds and I'm going to deposit withdrawals. So then I'm going to go all the way down. Actually, I don't have to go all the way down. Go to this little search bar right here and buy and Bitcoin is BTC. So I'm going to select BTC and that shows you my Bitcoin and BTC in Binance right now. And I want to deposit money into my Bitcoin Binance. So I'm going to click this address. This is my Bitcoin address. So if I take that address and I go over back to GDAX, I want to withdraw this $5 into my Binance at that address. That's why I hit deposit. It gives me my address. I copy that address. And I want to withdraw that out of my GDAX. So when I hit withdraw, I'm going to go to a BTC address. And it's going to ask me, hey, B Roots, how much of the amount that you have in your GDAX do you want to put into your Binance address? Max. And then I'm going to give them the address. That address that was given me, that same address. When I hit deposit, is that address right there. So when I go to GDAX, it's all in there. Um, so I have my two-factor code set up. I do this for extra security. You don't have to, but I'm always all about security when it comes to my money. So I'm going to get my two-factor code. It's going to send me a text message. There it is. I'm going to type that into my two-factor code. Two zero four eight five one one at the utmost security, and I'm going to withdraw the funds. Bam, I've withdrawn five dollars into my Binance account. Now, as you see right here, it says minor service outage. That's been saying that for, whew, for about a month because Bitcoin and all the other altcoins has been going crazy right now. But as you can see, the money is out of my GDAX and it's going through the blockchain, the Bitcoin blockchain, and it's going to show up into your Bitcoin and it's, that total balance is going to show up right here when, you're, when it finally comes in. However, I already got some money into um, Bitcoin, so I'm going to kind of show you what you do from there. So now I got the money in my Bitcoin. Now I want to trade that for simple token. Once again, I want to trade my Bitcoin for simple token. How do I do that once that money is in? Now, keep in mind, this might take 15 minutes to get into your Bitcoin and Binance. It might take two hours to get to your Bitcoin and Binance. It all depends on the amount of trade, uh, the amount of trading, and uh, that's going on through the blockchain. To how fast it's going to get there please 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 i get people every day asking me where's my money where's my money oh it did end up showing up be patient i know you're dealing with a lot of your money and your hard-earned money but this technology is good it's going to show up so we need to exchange our bitcoin for simple token what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the left here it says exchange and i'm gonna go to basic when i go to basic I want to go to BTC. I want to make sure I'll go to BTC. If you're trading Ethereum, you could do the same thing with Ethereum as I'm doing with with Bitcoin. But right now we're going to do BTC. Um, however, it's going to ask you, hey, what do you want to trade BTC for? I want to trade BTC for OST. That is the code for simple token. 
It's trading at 41 cents currently, as you can see right there. Now, when I click on that, boom, it's going to say, okay, we are ready for you to exchange Bitcoin for simple token. So how do I do that? I'm getting a lot of people keeping on limit. They're so excited. And they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, Beirut showed me how to do it. And I'm ready to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, please for, don't forget to put it on market. If you want to buy it right away, put it on market. So right now it's saying we've got your Bitcoin. You want to train to OST. When I click here, it's going to go on to OST. I want to buy OST with the amount of Bitcoin I have. So for example, right now I got 0 0.012 Bitcoin. If I want to do 100% of my Bitcoin, I'm going to get 400 coins of, of um, simple token. If I want to do 75%, I'm going to get 300. I can do 50% of my Bitcoin. I can do 25% of my Bitcoin. Or I can do whatever I want. So when that's done, all you hit is buy OST and the amount will come out right away. I won't buy it because here in America, um, this man named Donald Trump just signed a bill for us to get taxed every time that we we do a trade. So a lot of these things, you'll see me fake like I'm going to hit it, but I'm not trying to get taxed for every trade. That's crazy. So I'm not even going to trade it. I'm just going to hold. That's what I do. So... Which I did that beforehand anyways, because I'm doing this for the long term. I'm not doing this for the short term. So anyways, once that money's put in, you go to your funds and instantly it changes over. There won't be no lag time between this. So instantly it changes over. So then you have simple token. So there you go. So I got 886 simple token. So you signed up for this awesome Binance um the the best crypt to me i believe it's the best um the best crypto exchange and i've played around with all the other ones and this just seems so much cleaner and fluent to deal with and it seems that whenever a coin comes on uh binance it goes up a little bit so binance is like the cadillacs of of uh cryptocurrency exchange companies that's how i feel um, and all my videos are done with Binance, so keep that in mind, too. Anyways, uh, once you got your money in Simple Token, what are you going to do? Well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into MyEtherWallet.com because this is an Ethereum um, token. So you're going to go to MyEtherWallet. And if you guys done some of my other videos, you can kind of skip over. You kind of know what to do from here on out. Um, however... Let me, for you guys that are new and haven't done anything with my Ether wallet, let me show you what you need to do to create this wallet. So I'm going to minimize. First thing I'm going to do, if you know all my videos, I'm all about organization. Even though you can see all this crap in the background, it's organized to me. <laughs> so I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to bring that folder over here. Oh, not that folder. Hold on a second. Let's see here. New folder. There it is. And I'm going to call it simple token. Keep that folder because we're going to need to download some things and input it into that folder to keep everything organized. So we're going to create a new folder. What's your password going to be? So boom, I'm going to create a password. What this is doing is creating yourself a wallet. I'm going to create a new wallet. Then I'm going to download a key store file. So I'm going to hit this button. What this is, is you don't, this file right here, you don't want to lose it. It cannot be recovered if you lose it. Do not share it. Your funds will be stolen if you use this file on a malicious phishing site. Make a backup. Secure it like the millions of dollars it may one day be worth. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't lose this file and back it up. So, I'm going to take this file and I'm going to input it into my simple token folder. There it is. It's in there. I'm going to go back out here. 
And I would say, I understand that if I lose that file, my money is gone. I understand that. So I'm, I understand. Continue. Then you have a private key. This private key, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the private key for your folder. If you lose this private key and you need to get back into it, your money will be gone if you lose this private key. So what you want to do is copy that, make a little Word document or something, and put it in there. So I saved that private key. I make a Word document, I copy and paste it, and I put that folder, that private key folder, into my simple token folder also. So you'll have two folders. You have your, your, your um, file to open up the folder, and then you'll have your private key just in case you ever need to restore it for whatever reason. So I have saved my address. Now it's going to say, let's unlock your wallet to see your address. So I'm going to key store JSON file. I'm going to select a wallet file. And then that one that says simple token. I'm going to bar, I'm going to, go to desktop. And then we're going to simple token right there. Open. There's that file. Boom. And then it's going to ask me for my password that we just created. Boom, and then I'm going to unlock my wallet. And I'm officially in my wallet. So this is the wallet that you just created. There it is. You have a wallet. You created your wallet and everything there's, there's that is. So I just created this wallet, everything's fine. I'm just going to delete it just for purposes. I just wanted to show you guys how to create a wallet, but I'm actually gonna input this in my real true wallet. So um, bear with me as I go into my actual wallet. Boom, 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 doom, doom, doom. Password. So, there's my wallet, and then it's going to ask you for your account address. So, this address, ladies and gentlemen, anything that you have that's under the Ethereum blockchain or Ethereum, and you want to store it in a wallet outside of Binance, you can do that by putting it into this address. It's all one system. So, whether you have Ethereum, whether you want to set, whether you want to, um, whether you want to store tron uh whether you want to store um um quant stamp or poet you can do that all with this one single address it makes it so much easier it's like having a bunch of of wallets and coins under one system so uh, that's what i like about my ether wallet so i'm going to copy this address and i'm going to go back to binance and we're going to withdraw our simple token into my ether wallet so i'm gonna copy this address i'm gonna go back to binance and i want to withdraw the simple token amount into my my ether wallet so i'm going to hit withdraw then it's going to ask me for the address well the address is that address that was your my ether wallet see that address right there there's that same address it's going to ask me how much you want to do? I'm going to do all my coins. It's a little expensive right now to do a transaction. So if you're going to buy, you probably want to buy why it's low. Get my point at 41 cents. So I'm kind of paying what six dollars, a little maybe you know six bucks, a little over six dollars to do this. So that's, to me, that's a little expensive. But when that goes up to two dollars, three dollars. Then you're going to be like, yeah, I should have got in with B Roots when B Roots got in. <laughs> then you'll think about it. So when I hit the max, it's going to say, hey, you've got 886 coins and 478, 886.479 coins. The transaction fee is 15 coins. So you will get 871.479 into your My Ether wallet coins. There it is. So I hit submit. 
Then I've got my two-factor authentication set up in Binance. So um, I might do that once again for safety. It's just another reason no one can't hack into my account and get all my stuff. And I hit submit. And then it's going to send me an email to the email that I signed up with. And that's going to say, hey, let me know if this is what you really want to do. And it won't go through until I hit that email. There's my email. Do -do 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 as it goes, and it is sent out. So when I go back to funds and deposit withdrawals, you can see my total balance is there, but my available balance is zero because it's showing, hey, B Roots, you just took your money out and it's on its way to my Ether wallet. Once that's that, you go into your my Ether wallet and you hit show all tokens. When you hit show all tokens, you scroll down to ST. Now I know here on Binance, it says OST, simple token is OST. Simple token for exchanges is considered OST. However, when you go into my ether wallet, it's actually considered ST. So when you scroll all the way down, these are all the different ones you can get. And you see ST, where are you at, where are you at, there it is. ST, you click on that ST, it'll click to load it. And then you go all the way up here and you hit only show tokens, then your ST will update once it's all the way through. So um, there you go, that's it. Now you're, if you want to, you can get into simple token that easy you stored it on your wallet um everything's set and it's good to go so that's how it's done ladies and gentlemen bam 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 is nothing nothing to it it's very easy uh once you refresh it usually it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to fully go through once it go through it'll show up in your my ether wallet and then close out of it and you're good to go but there you guys got a simple token i'm telling you this thing has a lot of room for growth. When you look at total supply, you look at what's circulating, and you compare it to the ones that are out there that has around the same amount, that's how you read charts, people. Um, when you look at that, 577,964, 376, 656, 102, 1935. This is a under the radar token and it has a good cause for it. Look, at it just went up two cents since we just got it, since we just bought in. So there it is. It's on its way up. Um, you know, you can look at it and you scroll and then, you know, you look at the seven day market for it. And look what it's doing. It's slowly rising. To me, I believe it's slowly rising to its $8 mark, but no one knows about it because it's ranked 189. <laughs> no one knows about it. So, like, are you going to get in? Are you not going to get in? Do you believe in it? What, what do y'all think about it? So, comment below. Let me know what you think about. Are you going to get in? Um, make sure you guys... Uh, comment if you have any questions like i said all the time we all get in it together we all answer each other's questions and we help each other out that's the b roots motto we all help each other out i'm not in this for the money and getting you guys like i'm not in for it um, i'm in it for the conversation so each other can help us grow people have gotten me into coins and at and told me hey i've heard this coin what do you think about it and then i do some research and i think about it and i, I look into it and then i make a video on it whether i think it's going to be good or not but um another thing is let me go on my youtube channel last video i had 3500 subscribers let's see how much i have today my channel 
3969. We're almost to 4000. So we're right there getting it to 5000 of my goal um, for the year is to get that 20,000 by the end of the year. So please, the only way this can be done is if you all please help me out and share this onto your Facebook, share this onto your Twitter. If anyone wants to get into cryptocurrency, please share it to them because just how you love it and you love to learn new things and you love to learn how to do the things, the only way we all can make money is we get more people into it and more people are, are, are getting involved. And that's how the market grows because not everyone knows about this stuff. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to put somebody. Uh, as you can see, I, mean, I help a lot of people. So go ahead and ask your questions, comment if you have anything. If you just want to just say, hey, what do you think about this? Just just go ahead. Throughout the day, I'll, I'll answer. I'm not that other YouTuber that you look and just doesn't answer the questions or doesn't respond. They just make another video and make money off of ads and make money off of you. No, I'm not that person. You can see for yourself. I respond to every single one of these questions if I do. Sometimes something gets put into the, the mix and I, and I make a mistake, but all these questions I am constantly checking through the day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how I got 3,969 subscribers in three weeks because I care about my subscribers. I care about my followers. I talk to you as if you're a regular person because we all put our pants on the same way so twitter add me on twitter we've got some good conversations going on um i got some good good um <laughs> um i've got some some good good news coming up um i had an article that's good read if you go on my twitter um, it's an article about what's the difference between XRP and Stellar Lumens. People think it's the same thing. It absolutely is not. It's not geared toward the same thing. And people are investing in Stellar Lumens because they don't know what it is. So check this. I just did this about 12 hours ago. Um, get on my Twitter, at IMB Roots, and uh, check this out. Um, it's just a, it's a great article on what the difference is between them. So I like to do that. I like to have little comments and things like that. Um, little articles and up-to-date news on my Twitter. I try to do posts about three or four times a day. Um, but my latest post, I have people asking me why Visa and MasterCard are declining payments into cryptocurrency. I don't get it. These banks are investing in Ripple, yet we small people can't invest in technology with our own money. It makes no sense. They don't want us to win. Does that not make sense? Like these companies are partnering with Ripple. These Visa and MasterCards are partnering with them, yet they're declining our cards into Coinbase. Some people into Coinbase. Don't get it. Um, so different things like that, you know, just just allows us to vent, allows us to cheer each other on for the coins that we're wanting to go with and getting different news. Um, it's just a community of good people. So that's the channel of B Roots. Um, I want to thank you all for for liking i want to thank all my subscribers i even got some donations lately that were you know i really 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 appreciate it because <laughs> when it comes to making these videos i'm not <laughs> making much money at all like i need to be sponsored by somebody if there's any sponsorships out there that you want to sponsor me and help me make some more money i'm all up for it Bring them my way because I'll gladly accept anything that can keep me going. Uh, but the donations that y'all are giving me, I greatly appreciate it. Whether it's PayPal money, whether it's um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, like even if it's a dollar, like I greatly appreciate it. That puts a smile on my face and I really thank you for it because I'm going to put it into a coin, even if it's a dollar, because that one dollar I'm hoping will be worth a hundred dollars one day. So I, I thank every single one of you um, and I just show how my appreciation for this growing in the channel, I answer your guys' questions. So I do appreciate it. Any donations, I is greatly appreciate it. Um, but also, um, you got all your links below. Sign up under your links below. 
Um, ask any questions you have, but most important, share to your friends and family that has any questions about it. If you want to show them how to get into it, please show them my link. So this video was a little long. Uh, it's a little different than usual. I want to talk about the coin a little bit because it's an under the radar coin. So I do apologize for being such a long uh, video, but um, I'm not going to go into any music or anything this time around. Um, you can hit me up on my SoundCloud. You can hit me up on Spotify and check out my music also if you want to. Um, but thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry, once again, I'm sorry it's a little long. I just wanted to explain a little bit more about Simple Token. But yeah, it, it's very, very under the radar. Um, I don't want to say I told you so, but I'm also not your your uh, financial advisor. So um, as a friend, I can tell you. One day I'm going to tell you, I told you so. <laughs> so thank you very much and appreciate all the support that you guys have given me. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. Thank you. And as always, to end it off with, B Roots is signing out. Thank you very much. Have a good day.